What's that in the sky, fellow hunters? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a friendly neighborhood caped crusading world's finest, earth's mightiest hero for hire? Well, that really depends on how you spend your character points. So strap on your cape and buckle your utility belt, because today we're stepping out of the dungeons and soaring up, up, and away into the four-color superhero universe of Aaron Alston's Strike Force. What is Strike Force? Why, it's only the first supplement to take role-playing from kick-the-door-down monster-bashing gameplay to heroic, episodic, story-filled adventures, and in a comic book world, no less. So come with me into the world of Light Rune and Skyrocket as we kapow, biff, and sock our way through Aaron Alston's superly heroic life work, Strike Force. Aaron Alston's Strike Force is a legendary setting supplement for the champion system. Today we are joined by Sean Patrick Bannon from Evil Beagle Games. I hope you enjoy. Aaron, who had done a number of things for a number of game companies at the time and was fairly well known uh, amongst writers and designers, he was one of our early rock stars, really, mm -hmm. uh, in the hobby and the industry before he went on to writing novels and especially Star Wars novels and stuff. Um, he uh, had crafted this book to present his campaign for Champions players who would be interested specifically in what he was doing and, and how he was doing it. And while it served wonderfully as a supplement for champions with lots of characters and villains and storylines and cool things like that, it also uh, featured a ton of extraordinary information on how to build up a campaign, how to put your players together, how to evaluate each of your individual players and what they wanted to add to the experience. Uh, how to maintain storylines, not just the, the main campaign play that you were doing, but handle each person's individual interests and their little sideline stories and stuff. So it became this outline, this, this, this uh, playbook, if you will, of, you know, here's how to set up and run an extended campaign. And the reason why this is so important is that nobody else had done it up to that point. There, we, we talk about it now, it's like, yeah, that stuff's common. That's mm -hmm. a very common place these days. I mean, every, every major game has some advice on how to do this. Well, yeah, that's, that's default now, but Aaron is the first one to do it, and Aaron was the first one to show the way. I mean, there's, there's two things here. One is just the unbelievable depth and volume of material for this universe is a, uh, a very internally consistent, very elaborate universe with a lot of story and a lot of depth that a GM could bring to a group of players. If, if, if just alone, just the, the setting itself is going to be powerful and fun and exciting. Uh, but uh, there's also the fact that uh, this book points the way towards fun outside of we just get together as a team and beat up supervillains. Mm -hmm. um, this book really will get into the, the, the more elaborate and involved aspects of what uh, superhero stories are like with the soap operatic aspects mm -hmm. of characters' relationships both with people they love and the ones that they hate, arch rivals, you know, government agents that they have to, to negotiate with and or around and, you know, grand sweeping, you know, metacosmic epics with uh, alien species who either want to save or destroy the world and time travel and dimensional travel and all of those things. Aaron had an amazing way of looking at all that from the way comics do and putting it into a, uh, a perspective that a GM can readily go, okay, that's how I do that, or that's how I'm going to present this kind of story. And it also sort of serves to help players go, this is how I can make this cool personal storyline that I want to pursue work in conjunction with the campaign. So all of that really builds out a, a much more involved and immersive superhero gaming experience. And quite frankly, you can take a lot of the lessons and ideas and thoughts from this and apply it to many other genres outside of superheroes.
in 1988 was the first release of, of the original book, and that was following uh, a few years, actually eight years uh, of gameplay. So I mean, he started running in 1980, and then so eight years later he came forward with uh, Strike Force, uh, and so you had eight years of campaign play that went on to become, like we said, 22 years. Um, and Champions, uh, which uses the hero system as a game engine, you know, Champions was flat out the m most famous and successful superhero game of its time. Yeah, I don't know anybody that hasn't, you know, there's no old gamers that don't know that game, for sure. Right, exactly. And at, at that time, the book, you know, was, was serving third and fourth edition. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a great video uh, who talked about uh, sitting people down and having them watch Casablanca as a film. Casablanca established... Uh, what we take as de rigueur as, as just, you know, uh, you know, by default, you know, how things should be, Casablanca was one of the first movies ever to show us how that was. Same thing with Strike Force. I mean, the original product showed us how uh, to, to look at campaigns, both from a GM's perspective and a player's perspective, as something longer term and very involved with, with a, an immersion factor that was beyond the, okay, so which monsters are we killing today or which bad guys we punch in the face? And you know we come up to to now, you know Aaron Aaron's book still is just this treasure uh, that's very difficult to find. By the way, the original the, the original copies you you can you pay quite a bit of money to. Yeah, I noticed uh, that <laughs> when I was doing some research. Um, and that's because it was just uh, such a special, you know, groundbreaking tome of its time. Yeah, and speaking of your Kickstarter, I noticed you have this, you know successfully hit your goal, so this is 100% happening. So congratulations <laughs> there. Um, of all the people that know the old game, know the, you know, know the old Strike Force supplement, and are you know looking at the new one and you know getting excited about that, if you had to pick one thing that they're going to be most excited about when they get that package in the mail, what do you think they're going to be most excited to to see? Wow, uh, there's. Well, well, wow, that's, uh, it's almost unfair to ask. Like, <laughs> which of the awesome things? Right. <laughs> there's just all these, like I said, there's these new characters that got added in uh, from from post-original uh, publishing, but there's also going back for the old guard, it's going to be going back and visiting uh, you know, classic characters like Lumpet there and uh, Light Rune and Shadow Walker and all these characters that, that they, you mean... They're, 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 they weren't the Spider-Man or Superman, right? But, but to Champions players, these characters were, were pretty powerful and important. They, they had such involved stories that we all loved reading about. We became almost as invested in them as you might have, you know, a, a comic book character you're reading about in the comics. So finding out what happened to them, reading about their stories, and then letting those stories inspire your own approach to telling a superhero story for for the old guard types for the ones who are really invested in this idea of of telling a great story over a long period of time with a group of friends uh that's going to be powerful i think it's going to really hit them you know right in the heart right in the fields <laughs> yeah right in the fields it's going to be powerful i mean i remember these characters and these stories and wow look at all the stuff he did since the last time i read this book and holy crap i want to run that game And that, my fellow hunters, is the legendary Strike Force. Consider yourself well-read if you remember this wonder of gaming past. Thank you to Sean Patrick Fannin, probably the easiest person to find on Facebook ever. Feel free to follow him there, and you'll see the Strike Force page from his page. If you want to join my hunters, click the Avengers to subscribe. If you want to see the last episode in this series, click Batman, he will take you there. You have about a week left on the Kickstarter as of this video going up, so don't miss out. And remember to play like the dice are trying to kill you, because they are. <laughs>